Make sure to subscribe for more countdowns, gameplays, reviews, and monthly shopping spree giveaways. Every new subscriber counts so we can give back to the player. Hello everyone once again to another US Airsoft original. This is the top 4 coolest Polarstar LMG slash HMG builds which is brought to you by the Polarstar Airsoft Owners Group on Facebook where I happen to find all 4 submitters you'll see right here. And taking over the background we have another spinning records release which is a bit old but still fresh to the ears. This is laid back look and Sandra Van Doren with Who's Wearing the Cap. Links to download this track will be in the description like always but with that said Let's get into this countdown with Alex from the Tactical Idiots Airsoft team with his Crytac LMG. Coming in at number 4, this Purdy Shrike is equipped with a Magpul MOE grip, a Crytac PDW stock, a GMP Ambi Mag release, a Noveski outer barrel, a Noveski rail system, and an amplifier Alex had custom made to resemble P-40 Warhawk fighter plane. Internally however, this LMG features a Prometheus Delta Widebore inner barrel, a pro in hop-up, and a Prometheus bucking with a Firefly flat hop nub. When I asked Alex how he would describe his piece, he stated, Eh, it's light and shoots like a dream. Other than that, it's just another LMG. But to me, it's still a good looker that deserves a spot on our countdown. And I'm beginning to think about grabbing a Crytac LMG for myself before the limited edition pieces disappear for good. But moving along to number 3, we introduce something a little bit heavier. This is Bear of Opposing Group Services with his very sexy A&K PKM. This heavy hitter has been fitted with a real steel modern PKM flash hider, a custom milled outer barrel, a real steel Xanate RS system, a Magpul pistol grip, and a Blackheart Industries PKM folding stock adapter with a minimalist stock, while Prometheus bucking and flat hop beef up the internals. This is a very unique PKM as most are either stock or with very minimal custom work, but with the folding stock and shortened barrel, this PKM is certainly one of a kind just like how this next piece is used. Coming in at number 2 we have Mackenzie Mento with his bingo custom Viva Arms 1919 which comes with a story that should let you know more about it. Mackenzie states, It's the Viva Arms M1919 I bought second hand from a private collector with it being number 115 of 300. I ended up asking Bingo Airsoft Works to P-Start for me and he was more than happy to do so. After getting the Fusion Engine installed, the box mag could not feed fast enough. So Rudy 3D printed the box magazine to keep up and increased the mag capacity to 8000 BBs. He also wired the box mag to feed when the trigger is pulled. When I got the gun back, I ordered a surplus M1919 A6 stock because the tripod is just for displaying and storage because I actually shoulder fire this meaning I shoot and run with this beast and keep all the heads down. There's a lot of information left to be read as Rudy himself wrote an article on this 1919. A link to that article will be in the description below if you'd like to follow that story but needless to say this is just another amazing piece coming from Bingo Airsoft Works. But now we move in to the number one spot. Presenting Ian Clements with the very first and only Polar Starred M134D Dylan Arrow Minigun. Taking over a year and a half, Ian's homemade M134D features a feed rate of 50 rounds per second and a box mag that can hold an upward of 15,000 BBs as well as a Prometheus hop-up and a Maple Leaf bucking setup. But there's so much that went into this project so links to Ian's channel and the firing test video will be in the description as well as a link to I Am Airsoft, a channel that Ian has put a lot of work into with other homemade builds and many reviews. But do you agree with our countdown? Let us know if you enjoyed this video or how we can improve or give your opinion on why you dislike or love Polar Stars altogether, since I received a bit of hate mail concerning the Polar Star countdowns lately. But make sure to tune into the next countdown where we'll go over the top 5 most unique Polar Star builds. Thank you for watching, and I'll make sure to see you all next time.